you. Well, it's an app many of us use every day, TikTok, but some U.S. lawmakers have introduced new legislation that aims to ban the app here in the U.S. Our Meredith Terhar sat down with the founder of West Michigan-based Protect Young Eyes to learn what he thinks about a potential ban and why he says kids under 15 shouldn't be using it at all. I've spent a lot of time in a lot of apps over the past seven years, and I have never experienced, my brain has never experienced anything as intoxicating as TikTok. That's a pretty alarming statement coming from an adult, even more so when you think about its influence on millions of adolescents. I don't believe that most children who are under age 15 are developmentally ready neurologically for the addictive pull of TikTok. Chris McKenna of Protect Young Eyes recommends parents download it to better understand. You truly do appreciate both the amazing potential and the unbelievable addictiveness of TikTok after you've been inside of it. So what does he think about a potential U.S. ban on the app? You know, parents have opinions about TikTok, but there's a lot of fear at this lawmaking level that is driving this decision. And, and that's the part that concerns me because we live in a time right now where the individuals that are charged with holding, in this case, the largest companies that have ever existed, <laughs> the lawmakers that are in charge of holding them accountable, for the most part, do not understand the companies that they are trying to hold accountable. Chris says that lack of understanding is problematic. How much access does China actually have? We don't even really know. We just sort of are freaked out by the idea that China is the ultimate owner of this app that is having ridiculous influence over American culture, and that stokes up a lot of fear. Even if we pass this ban, it doesn't address the root cause, and that is we don't understand TikTok. We don't understand things happening in Apple or Google or other places. Put whatever company you want in that blank, and therefore it's difficult for us to regulate them well and in a way that is helpful to us as consumers. And so I always just get a little concerned, and I think we all should, when fear drives our decision making, whether as parents or as professionals, or in this case, Congress, I think that's just a dangerous spot to be in because we don't often make good decisions in that situation. For 13 on your side, I'm Meredith Terhar. And Chris's hope is that this story prompts more conversation between kids and parents to create more digital trust between them.